Hi friends, in this video we will see the default parameters, how we can send the default parameters in the arrow functions. So this, this behavior is applicable to the old function, to all the traditional way of writing the functions and also for the arrow functions also. So let us check that default parameter. For example, I have a function. Okay, so name by name compare think number one and number two. I will be sending so it will send return number one is equal to is equal to number two. Okay, now what I will try to do, I will try to compare 10, comma 10. I will do this type of comparison. So if I check the output here, what could be the output? Now, if I check the output, we got no surprisingly, we got true. Fine, 10 is equal to 10. Now, what I will do is I will make this variable as a default one so that we will just print this console.log number one and console.log number two. What could be the output? Just we will check. I check this one console dot number one and number two and I am removing this variable here and I will try to check the output. So what could be the output here? I will be passing only 11. Now if I check the output here, here what I am getting? So number one is printed as 11 and number two, I if I didn't pass it also, it took the value default as 10 then it written as false. Now what I will do is I will try to send the number two variable also. Now what could be the output? So here the variables both are 11 and 11 and we got the result written as true. That means here number 2 if we didn't pass any value in the second argument for any fu for the function, so it will take the default as 10. If we pass anything as a second, param as a second parameter, it will take that value. So you can have like this and also you can maintain default parameter for the first, uh, first parameter or default, uh, default value for the first parameter also. Now I will not send anything. So now if I if I try to check here, so the both values are 10 and 10. Why? Because number 1 and number 2 I assign default as 10. If we if nothing is passed to this function, take that value as 10 I passed it. So number 1, number 2, true, it tries to. Now I will try to do as 12 and 20. Now what could be the output? Let's check. So here 12 and 20 it has become the return value is false. So in this way we can we can we can assign the default parameters with default values for the parameters now what i will try to do i will try to assign default parameters for this number and i will try to remove this here okay so what could be the output so if i try to check the output yeah where i am passing two values 12 and 20 is fine now i will pass it only one value why because here the the, nessar, the compulsory argument is only number two right so i will pass only one argument so now if i check the output here I got it as undefined, number 2 as undefined and number 1 instead of uh, instead of having 10 it changed it to 12. So now you can understood that the alignment, so al not alignment, correctly we can say is the priority, the ordering, the ordering of the arguments is also very important. So you are sending the first argument 12 means it is it will be assigned to the number 1 only, it will not assign to the number 2, it cannot think that function number one is already having the value the user is trying to send it that to the number two value it will not think like that so the ordering of the values also arguments also important so number one is assigned as two and number two is they didn't assign anything so that's why undefined is printed so that is the reason you need to always declare required parameters always at the first so what are the parameters after that required parameters so you can main, maintain it as the optional by optional arguments or otherwise you can maintain it with the default values so at least one parameter should be required parameter if all the parameters if any require if any argument is having required means it should be declared at the first instead of declaring in the middle or last something like that okay so this is the way how we can do now see i can also do instead of writing like this i can also do number two is equal to number one like this also so if I check, if I, if I remove and if I run, so here see number two, 12, 12 has been came and we got the, so that means we can assign the arguments 
here like this also for example if i want to assign number 2 here and if i want to assign here number 1 is equal to number 2 okay if i assign is as 10 so that means number 2 is 10 and we are missing number 1 as number 2 so now if i try to uh, if i try to check the value you are getting an error that cannot access number 2 why because here number 1 before initialization only it is trying to assign number 2 value into the number 1 so here the here also the ordering of is very important okay so it is nothing but a la execution of the line line by line it is going and it is checking that number 2 up to now it has didn't came across the number 2 variable so number 2 will be initialized after this declaring of the number 1 only so that is the reason error is coming and also we can write something like 10 by 2 the logical operations also here so if i send any 12 from here and if i try to run here i am getting 12 and 5 10 by 2 is 5 so that is the reason got the 5 and also you can also assign some values also let um, x is equal to 100 or something like that and also you can assign this x value also here so if i try to run here so i am getting x as 100 here so this is in this way we can assign the default values for the function for the arguments in the function so why because i am explaining you these all things means you this will be very useful while writing the dynamic uh, functions so while declaring dynamic type of functions we are using so you can declare these many types also you can have you can declare the default arguments for this one if you have any doubts or anything please post the comment below the video so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you